Ah, I see you have come to accompany me on my final walk. I hope you were from the multimedia tour where I showed you recollections of the memories I held dear as custodian and caretaker of City Hall all these years. This time, I'll unveil the rich stories held within these walls. On this tour, you will walk with me through 10 stops in sequence past these hallowed halls as I reveal their secrets. A little bit before I came in 1856 during colonial days, a municipal council was formally established to oversee the maintenance of public infrastructure in Singapore, including the provision of public utilities such as water, electricity and gas. The decision was made in the 1920s to house the different departments under one roof, and construction began in 1926. I remember reading in the Singapore Free Press a line that stuck with me till today. The sum of $2 million is to be spent on building gigantic and pompous municipal offices in Singapore, though that town is full of slums. They even called it ostentatious, but I knew it was to be a symbol of change. Completed in 1929, this building was referred to as the Municipal Building and retained its function even through the Japanese occupation, albeit under the name Tokubetsu Shi, or Municipal Administration, until their surrender on 12th September 1945. I can almost hear Mr. Lee Kuan Yew's confident shouts of Merdeka! echoing on the City Hall steps while campaigning for self-governance in the late 50s. My sweetest memory, however, will always be 3rd December 1959 with about 10,000 other people gathered outside City Hall to celebrate the swearing-in of Yusuf Ishaq as Singapore's first head of state and the unveiling of the crest, flag and anthem, Majula Singapura.